Mike Alcoholic. I really didn't know what I was going to do the topic on until I was talking with uh, talking with Chris up front, and we were talking about how the, uh, I don't know if y'all know it or not, the toilets are acting up a little bit, and uh, they put a little camera down there, and uh, they found out it, it it's not totally blocked up, but it's just a bunch of little things in there that they got to get out. You know, it's just a common problem, but I got to thinking about that being a, a theme of a topic, and I, and, I, and I really, the only thing I came to the conclusion is that's why we need to uh, try to work a tenth step and deal with things as we go along, because it, it makes me think about in uh, the doctor's opinion where it talks about the guy's problems pile up on him and they become astonishingly diff difficult to solve. And how <clears throat> it's oftentimes for me not the big things that trip me up, it's my unwillingness to deal with small things as they come along that build up into something big and I can't really even pinpoint why I either don't have serenity or I'm in this bad place and I can't figure out exactly what ex exactly is wrong is because I haven't dealt with things as I go along. And as we know from being children, we realize that we learn in school that it wasn't Paul Bunyan that took down the big oak tree. It was, a, it was small little, little termites that did it. And our 12 and 12 talks about that. It talks about these conscious or unconscious fears of the termites that ceaselessly devour any quality of life we may have. And what that tells me again is that it's not the big things oftentimes that get me. It's the small things left unattended that can trip me up. Because a lot of times for us, the big things when they come along, you know, we know sort of what to do. Is we, we're going to double up on our meetings or call some folks and stuff like that. But I know for me, and, and I think probably somebody who maybe has a little bit of time might be maybe more prone to this than anybody, but maybe not. But, you know, I think, oh, I'm, I don't need to deal with that small stuff. I've been doing that for a while. You know, I'm going let to let a couple of them termites build up. I ha I'll handle that next year when I do my four step, you know. And I've fallen victim to that. I mean, obviously not enough to uh, end up at Jimmy Hale or something, but I've fallen victim to it. And the price that we pay is oftentimes not picking up a new white chip. The price we pay is we're not working as efficiently as we could. And that's my point about the toilets, right? They, right now, you can flush one. But if both toilets are going and five people are lined up, it's going to block up. So uh, it, what I'm saying is it's not working as efficiently as it could. And I want to work as efficiently as I can, and I think that's what these steps talk about, because especially on, I think it's 86, where it talks about we, come, we become more efficient. We're not burning energy up foolishly, you know, and I think there's only, way, only one way to be efficient here is deal with my challenges in life as they come along the best I can. So my problems don't pile up on me and become astonishingly difficult to solve. So I can have that promise that it talks about, I will be able to handle situations that used to baffle me. So that's going to be the topic. Not toilets. <laughs> but the analogy that came from that, which is deal with things as they go along in recovery the appropriate way. Not with the old coping mechanisms but with the new ones that oftentimes are uncomfortable, I know, because we're not used to do, doing things with integrity and doing things the right way. I'm used to throwing a temper tantrum and telling somebody off. And then in recovery, what do we have to do when we do that? We have to go clean up this new wreckage of the present. So what this topic is about is trying not to create new wreckage of the present, deal with my challenges as I go along, and really experience the efficiency that this AA life can give me. So I appreciate you asking me to do the topic, and I've had a spiritual awakening as a result of these steps, and I'll pass. Thanks, Mike.